Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and we want to take a look today on Coinbase Pro. I want to share with you my experience and I want to give you a quick tutorial how the platform actually works. First of all, if you don't have a Coinbase account, feel free to use my link down in the description. If you sign up with that and start trading, you can actually um, get 10 USD of Bitcoin for free. So if we look at Coinbase Pro, um, it's actually the case that every Coinbase customer also has access to Coinbase Pro. And Coinbase Pro, as the name already suggests, is a platform for the more advanced users or for the more professional users. Um, the reason why you should trade there is basically the lower fees. Um, as you know, the fees on Coinbase are if you buy something um, regularly, so with a wire payment, um, you actually pay a fee of 1.49%. If you actually pay something with credit card, you pay a fee of 3.99%. So almost 4% if you buy something with credit card. And if you buy something on Coinbase Pro, the fee, actually the highest fee you can pay is 0.5%. However, you can't make a deposit with credit card. You need to do a wire transfer. Um, if you want to start trading on Coinbase Pro, the first thing you need to do is you need to deposit some money. And there are actually two ways to do that. First of all, you can send money um, via wire transfer. So you can just wire money to Coinbase Pro. It usually takes like one business day and then you will receive your money and you can start trading. Um, you could also, if you already have money on Coinbase, you can just transfer it to Coinbase Pro and it doesn't cost you any fees and you don't have to wait for it. It only takes like less than a second because both platforms use the same backend. And how you do that is you just click deposit and then you can either deposit, for example, for me here in Germany, it's euro or you can deposit um, bitcoins. If you want to deposit euro, you can see you can either do a wire transfer or you can transfer from coinbase.com if you have money there. Or if you want to deposit Bitcoin, it's the same. You can transfer it from coinbase.com or um, from any crypto any crypto address there is. Um, you can just send your Bitcoins to this address. So everyone gets a new address um, if you do that. So that's basically it. Once you have money in your account, you can actually start trading. So in order to trade, you need to select your trading pair. So you could either trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, or a lot of other cryptocurrencies against euros or USDC, or you can actually trade something against Bitcoin, um, whatever you like. Um, we will trade Bitcoin against Euro here. And then you can actually take a look at the order form here and you have like two kind of, actually three kinds, but we don't take a look at stop limit orders today because it's a bit more complicated and it's basically just a limit order where you can set a stop price when the limit order should be executed. We will only look at limit and market orders here. And the market order, if we buy something, Basically, you only say how much you want to invest. Let's say 500 euros or 5,000, whatever. And then you hit the place buy order button and then the order will get executed immediately and will be filled immediately. Um, so you will receive the Bitcoins immediately into your Bit um, Coinbase Pro wallet. The other option would be a limit order. Here you can say how much you want to buy. Let's say you want to buy 0 0.05 BTC, and then you can set a limit price. You can say, okay, I don't want to pay more than 25,000 euros per Bitcoin. The price here is always per Bitcoin. Even if you buy two Bitcoins, or if you buy half a Bitcoin, or 0 0.05 Bitcoin, you always use as a limit price, a price for one Bitcoin. And then you can just say um, place by order. And that's basically it. Selling is basically the same. You just say how much you want to sell. Let's say I want to sell one Bitcoin. 
then you can actually see the fee here and the price. Um, the, it's only an approximate price that I would get. Yeah, or you can do a limit order. And there you can say, okay, um, I want to sell one Bitcoin. And then you can say, okay, I only want to sell it if the price goes up to 35,000 euros. Then you say, place sell order. And as you can see, the sell order is now in under open orders here, and it will stay in the order book until either the order gets filled, so the price reaches 35,000 euros, um, or until I cancel it. That's what I'm doing here right now. And here it's the same here. If you want to sell, let's say, two BTC, you still type in the limit price for one BTC. And even if you want to sell half a BTC, or 0 0.1 BTC, you always type in the price, the limit price you would get for 1 BTC. And that's basically it. There's also a difference in fee. However, the fee is 0.5%. If you trade more than 10K, it goes down a bit. So for example, my current maker fee is 0.35%. And if I would trade more than 50K, would actually go down to 0.25% and 0.15%. You also have to know that there's a spread between maker and taker fee when you're trading more than 50k. And as you can see, the maker fee is actually cheaper. And the reason for that is that a maker, so you will receive the maker fee if you provide liquidity and you provide liquidity with an order that gets written in the order book. So if you do a limit order, um, a maker fee is always like a limit order that gets not executed immediately, and but is written in the order book. And a market order, which takes liquidity away from the market, um, has to pay the taker fee. So that's basically how you um, how you can look at it. So taker fee takes liquidity away and the other provides liquidity. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comments and down below. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, if you don't have a Coinbase account, feel free to use that link to get 10 USD in Bitcoins for free.